Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Stampers, and everybody else that's on. Happy Friday. How's everybody doing so far this morning? Probably just waking up like myself. Glad to have you on. So it's been a couple weeks other than my sneak peek that I did the other day that I've been on. So I really didn't have anything planned because I didn't know, you know, what my time was going to be like. But I did put together a Facebook Live video for you with um, Tastefully Textures. So let me show you the set that I'm going to be using. And this is a bundle. Okay. And it does have some dies. And I'll be showing you all that in a minute. Before we get started with that, I just want to go over and remind everybody of the specials because um, they are some awesome specials. Okay. So before I begin, again, Rose Ward, Stampers Delight. If you ever need a catalog, need a demonstrator, just go to Stampers Delight. You'll get my uh, cell number, my email. Contact me. I'd love to be your demonstrator. Okay. So the first thing I have is I have the bonus days. Okay. That is for U.S., Every $50 that you spend in July, that's before shipping and tax, okay, you will get a coupon emailed to you from Stampin' Up! to be used in August. So that's an awesome deal right there. Actually, looks the flyer looks like this. I know it's black and white, not very pretty, but what can I say? I just got back from vacation. Bear with me. Okay, so don't forget the bonus days. Don't lose your coupon. It's like cash. Okay, the other thing I want to tell you, awesome, awesome deal, July 1st through August 31st, extra, extra promotion, join my team, and for $99, you can get $155 of your own merchandise, whatever you want. They don't pick it out, you pick it out for, for yourself. And then you'll get a $10 coupon, which you can you reuse, uh, not reuse, you can use the following month towards your first order. So again, if you'd like to join my team, I'd love to have you. I'd love to help you get started, regardless of whether you want to do it as a business or a hobby. I'd like to help you, stampersdelight.com. And also, if you want to go on some awesome trips, I can help you do that too. Okay? And I also have a Facebook page just for my team members, just so you know. So again, that's the special for the sign-up. The other special we have is Paper Pumpkin, which my Paper Pumpkin for June, or July, just came in yesterday, so I'll be doing a video on that sometime in the next few days. Let me just show you. I'm going to just flip this for a minute. This is Paper Pumpkin, and it's a nice little kit. Every month it comes to your door with the ink spot, stamp, set. And this one happens to be cards. That's the paper pumpkin that I'll be doing. Okay. So next month, which you can sign up by August 10th through me for the paper pumpkin, they're going to have an add-on kit. And you can purchase that. Let me just flip this back. Well, I'll leave it there. The purchase You can purchase um, an add-on gift of fall because the autumn color paper pumpkin the one for August is actually bags and tags you can see them here it's not very pretty because it's not in color but my um, it will be on my blog and my Facebook live will show it in color for ten dollars more okay you can get an add-on kit which includes 24 bases of two different designs with coordinating envelopes okay it's not it is not included in your paper pumpkin subscription you need to order that through your demonstrator me. <laughs> um, I'm not sure, and I will check into that. I believe that, as far as I know, you do have to be a subscriber because otherwise you wouldn't be able to get it. You have to be a subscriber in order to get the add-on. That makes sense. What would you need the cards for without the add-on? Okay, so I can get you more information on the paper pumpkin and the add-on. Just contact me, stampersdelight.com. Okay, so... This is this month's host code, which if nobody understands, the way that works is if you go on stampersdelight.com, you log in. That's the code you want to use for your orders, unless they're over $150. If they're over $150, 
you don't want to use the host code because you would get the host benefits, okay? If anybody does not understand that, please just send me, drop me an instant message, uh, an email, okay? I'm always here to help you. I may not be able to answer the phone calls, but I can right away, but I can text or email you, okay? So please just get a hold of me if you have any questions. All right, I see quite a few people on. Good morning, everyone. Gloria, Bridget, Gloria, congratulations. Gloria is a great grandmother. A shout out to my neighbors on the birth of their first child, a baby girl. I'm not going to put any specifics out there. I'm sure they wouldn't like that. But again, congratulations to my neighbors. We, I knew that baby was waiting until I came back from my trip. So congratulations to them. Okay, so what I did today, and again, like I said, I didn't really have a lot planned because I didn't have a lot of time, but came up with some, I knew I was going to love this set. This is Tasteful Textures. It is a bundle with the bundle, the um, stamp set, and these are the dies. Okay, awesome dies. And I'll show you what they look like when they're cut out. And we're going to do a little stamping with that. I've also, I've also paired it up with a couple of other stamp sets, which I will show you. So let's sh let me show you the, the ones that I did come up with this. Or, or can I have a sip of my coffee first? I think it's too early even for me today. Okay. So the first one I came up with, I paired it up with our Bird Ballad Suite, Free as a Bird set. And let me just interject for a minute. I know a few people, when I, when I upload this to YouTube, a lot of people, not a lot, a few people tell me that it's blurry. I can't help that, you know, technology is technology. Um, I don't know what you're looking at when I look at it back. It's clear. I've done a few little tweaks. Hopefully that'll help. But hopefully, even if it's a little blurry, you can um, get the gist of it. Okay? But thank you for letting me know. Please do. And follow me on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. Just go to stampersdelight.com or stampersdelight and you'll find me. Okay, back to stamping. Free as a bird. I teamed it up. Here we go. So this is what I came up with. Now this background right here, this die, is this one. Okay, so I just laid it on the cardstock, ran it through. And then behind it is, this is what I love about this set. These are all scraps left over from other Facebook Lives. This is from the Perennial Essence. Background paper, that's what's behind it. Can you see it? Okay. The birds were ones that I had cut out for a class. And again, that's the um, stitched framelits, nestled stitched framelits. So you can pair everything up. This is the peacock ribbon. I have that over here. This is um, the old olive and pretty peacock. Okay, so you can mix and match everything. And then I bumped that up with some dimensionals. Okay, so that's the first die. And if you notice in here, this is the stamp, uh, the saying, sentiment that goes to this. Okay, um, your friendship means so much to me is from the Bird Ballad Suite. But then you flip it up. Thanks for making it easy to believe in myself. I mean, the stamp sets, the sentiments go together so nicely. I stamped that all in mint macaron. And then what I did was I just stamped off once and used this stamp right there where I'm pointing to give it a little texture, if you can see that. I will have still shots, you know, later on. And all the codes will be on here, so it'll be easier for you to order. Okay? So that's the first die and uh, stamps that I used. The next one is this one. I'm going to bring this one in. Now this one... Let me show you the die that goes to that. It was this flowery die. Okay. And I did it twice on a piece of cardstock, which is four by five and a quarter. And it, you know, it layers onto my cardstock. 
regular size um, cut in half. Behind it is our, this is Rococo Rose. Behind it is the Rococo Rose Designer Series paper. And of course the ribbon is also the Rococo Rose. All the numbers will be on the Facebook Live and my YouTube video later on. Now, this one, I also used the doodads. I also ran it through, so this is what I'm saying, you can layer so many things. You may not be able to see it, but I layered it with the eyelet lace embossing folder. These are all items in the annual catalog that you can order now. The one thing I did do was, you see that nice little framelit there? That, of course I had to tease you. <laughs> that comes from our, oop, wrong one. Our ornate, oh, let me grab it over here, ornate framelits. That is in the holiday catalog. So that's not out yet, but I got that free on my cruise, and that happens to be that framelit. So let me just tell you, even if the, the stamp set that goes with this is a Halloween one, even if you don't do Halloween, you're not, you don't need Halloween stamps, not everybody needs every stamp. I'd like you to buy every stamp and buy every stamp for me. But if you don't, you could still buy this. This goes with any sentiment set. Okay, so that's the ornate framed eyes. And that is in the holiday catalog. So that's what I used on this one. Just to show you that you can layer them and team them up with other things in the catalog. Good morning, Kathleen. Good morning, Gail. Thank you, Linda. Okay, and then when I opened it up, what I did was, again, this is, these stamps go to the set. Good things are sure to happen. You deserve it is on the inside. And with the inside, I used this stamp, which coordinates with that framelit. Okay. And we all get into little, I don't know, I, I, like all of a sudden, you know, I used to, like to stamp on the corners here. Now I'm stamping something inside. I just like to, you know, make it a little fancier. So right now I'm doing the insides like that. Just like our envelopes. You always want to do your envelopes, right? No naked envelopes here. Okay. The next one I'm going to show you, let me just put that out here, is going to be with this die. I'll show you the die first. So that's the die. And that card is right here. Now this is Blueberry Bushel. And again, I, I cut a card, piece of cardstock, same color, Blueberry Bushel. Thank you, Ginny. Yes, please share my videos. I want to be on the next trip, Maui. And I'm so close yet so far. Okay, so here, if you can see it, I used another embossing folder, and that one is from another suite. Let me just grab that. And that's called Scripty. Okay, so you can order that now. I love this folder. Also, what I did was I cut this piece out with this die. And then I had a 3 by 3 piece of designer series paper from the silhouette series and you see it's got the light blue and the dark blue and then what I did if you can see it I went in and put Winka Stella in there now this is one of the cards that I am going to be stamping in a different color so we can see how it looks I also used our frosted epoxy gems and our um, dotted Swiss ribbon which I love because it it ties so easy the bow and also this um, die right here again is from the new one I bring that in the thing I like about this die set it's got large ones and then small ones for the smaller smaller sentiments and that's that die right there okay all right and then on the inside because of the saying, you deserve it, I wanted something that may be for a birthday, so I put let's celebrate. And that is with, I probably don't have that stamp set here. I should have. Somewhere I should have it on the table, which one it is. 
it's probably way, way over there. Let's just see if it is. If not, I'm not going to make you wait. We'll figure it out. Okay, I don't know where I put it, but I know it's here. Oh, there it is, hiding over there. Okay, that is with the Bloom and Grow set. That let's celebrate. Something I like about that, if you're looking for a big stamp for the inside, you don't want a little stamp. That one's a good size. And then, of course, I stamped this stamp, inked it up with the um, blueberry bushel, stamped it off once, and then put it right over there. Okay, yes, yes, Kathleen, you're going to love those new dies and everything else in the catalog. Okay, so that was my other card. Now, the last card I'm going to show you, but another one I'm going to stamp, I'm just going to move this over here for a minute, is what I would call a simply stamped card. And it's just really using the stamps and some ribbon, no dies, but it comes out just as nice. Okay, here we go. Now, this one is with the Gorgeous Grape, the Highland Heather, and then the Purple Posy. So, I know we can't get the Purple Posy ink right now, but you can get the paper. And then, we're going to team that up with, look at that. We have the Purple Ribbon. Okay, uh, Purple Violet Ribbon. And can you see that? There's all three colors. Did I cut? Yes, you, what I did, um, Megan's asking, let me just bring that back in. Megan's asking, you, you do the die first and then you run it through the big shot. You cut that out and then you run it through the big shot. Oh, um, cause we don't have our new machine yet with, uh, the embossing folder. So yes, you would cut then do the emboss. Okay. So here is the card. And what I did was I just stamped all over the different stamps that come in the, um, uh, stamp set. Stamped right on top of that using those three colors or using the two colors. I'm going to show you that. Put some doodads on there, some glimmer doodads. And when you open it up, and this I loved, good things are sure to happen. And when you open it up, it says with this, again, the just, um, just believe is right here. Just believe. And I just stamped that all the way down. Just believe, just believe, just believe. I want you to think about something. Good things are sure to happen if you just believe that when you join my team and Stampin' Up, you can earn that incentive trip. Symphony of the Seas. Maui is next. It's kind of late in the year for that, but you could, I guess you, you could actually still do it. Okay, but if you join my team starting October 1st, just believe and you can be on the Symphony of the Seas with me in 2021. Okay, so those are the cards that I showed. Now let's get some stamping done. Okay, so the first one I want to show you is, and you notice I'm not rushing as much today because thankfully for my day job, I am very lucky to have summer hours. So Friday mornings, even though I still get up to be on at 7 o'clock, I don't have to be to work till 9. Love both of my jobs. Okay. So I'm going to bring in a piece of cardstock. This is our gorgeous grape. <clears throat> and hopefully, up oh, yeah, oh, geez, I even have my bone folder. This is cut lengthwise, okay? And we're just going to fold that. Give it a good twist here, a good burnishing. I layered that up. So this is four and a quarter by five and a half. Then this layer is going to be four by five and a quarter. Let me pull it up a little bit. And then this one is going to be three, uh, three and three quarters by five. So see how nicely they layer up together? All right. So we're going to move that out of the way. I'm going to grab my ink. I'm just using, because remember, we don't have the purple posy yet. It's okay. If, there's the Heather Highland, and here's the gorgeous grape. First thing I'm going to do is ink up my stamp, and I apologize. I'm going to try to do that without shaking the table. And I'm going to stamp off once. I don't want it that dark, as dark as that is. And then I'm just going to randomly keep stamping, and I get all the different effects, different colors in there. I'm next going to take the next stamp. 
I'm going to also do it in Highland Heather. Okay, stamp off once because I don't want it too dark. And you see I started with the darkest one there. So I'll start with the darkest one here and just keep stamping. The next one I'm going to do is this one. I'm going to stamp that up, tap it off once, start there, and just, again, you may not see this on the screen. I'm going to bring it up. But all of those colors do show up. All those textures do show up. You see? Now, for the saying or the sentiment, good things are sure to happen. I'm going to go ahead and use the Gorgeous Grape because I do want to use it darker and I don't want to tap that one off. I'm going to look at this. I'll bring this one in. It's going to actually be the same thing. But I'm going to look for the lightest spot. Could have been there too. To put the sentiment. Let's ink that up. Line that up. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that right there. You're actually done with your stamping except for the inside which we will get to. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that ribbon. Now normally you know I don't tie bows. This ribbon is very easy to tie bows. And when I'm in class, a lot of times I don't, only because it does take a lot of ribbon. I like to tie it in front. And I'm sure you've seen it on my other videos. This one, we are going to tie a bow. Okay. Here's what I want to tell you about tying bows. Something I do is just put a little snail back there so I can lay it down, keep it in place, wherever I'm going to put it. It's actually, I want that up a little bit. Do I want it up a little bit higher? Eh, I'll do this one a little bit different. We'll leave it right there. When tying bows, especially on Facebook Lives, uh, YouTube, it's hard. <laughs> it could be hard for any, any time. Here's what I'm going to tell you about bows. Nobody is going to look at that bow and say, oh, your bow is crooked. Don't go crazy about your bows. I mean, I know there's people that have to have them perfect this could have been a little longer I don't worry about that I really don't because I know whoever's going to get this card is going to appreciate the fact that I made this myself okay so please don't worry about your bows now see that one looks kind of weird because my tails are both over that way so and I know there's a lot of different ways to do the bows. You know, some people say pull it this way, do a loop. The only way I can do it is upside down. Sorry. I, hey, if it, any of the tips and tricks others have for you work, great. You know, I mean, there's a lot of ways to do things. I just play around with it till I get it the way I want it. And with my vacation nails, it's not working too well. There we go. All right. To me, that bow is going to be fine when I play around with it. I'm just going to, now that I can move it, I'm just going to take this off and back, slide it over a little bit, if you can see that. I don't really want, I want it in the middle. Okay. Okay, you don't want to move? You can stay right there. That's the beauty of stamping. Okay. Now, you may not like the bow, and that's fine, but my point is... Don't stress over small stuff, okay? It still looks nice. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to put that aside for one second. What I'm going to do is layer this flat right onto this piece of cardstock. And then this one I'm going to actually bump up with some dimensionals. Just grab those because I left them over on the other side of the table. And as you can see, I keep my case, one of the thicker cases with all my stuff that I need in here. So I'm just going to put some dimensionals on this. Again, this is a card that I would call a simply stamped card. I don't like to say simple stamping because then it sounds like you're not... I don't know, it sounds too, I don't know. I just like simply stamping. So that's my phrase, okay? I even do a simply stamping class. 
I've got my class schedule that I put out for the next six months. Oh my gosh, I was so proud of myself that I did that. If you'd like a copy of that, if you're in my area, just contact me. I can get you that. I'm going to put that right on top there. Okay? Simply stamped card. Now you want to actually add a little bit of something, something to it. So maybe we want to put some doodads on that. And we want to use the, whoop, wherever they went. There they are. Okay. We're going to use the um, glitter enamel dots. I'm just going to use up what I already, I don't want to open anymore. So I'm just going to use up what I have there. You have different sizes, but let's just use this, okay? So what I'm going to do is, and let me bring this back, one back in. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Of course, I already did because I put the bow in a different spot. Maybe I'll just put some larger ones on it. Put him over there. Not sure where my other tool is, so I'll just use this one. Put one. I don't want to put it there. I want to put it right there. There we go. Okay, so you can see it's the same card, just a little changed up a little bit. Okay, maybe you like the bow better in the middle. You like that bow better. Every, everybody has their own preference. It's fine. The other thing I want to tell you with the purple posy paper, which I like, is inside the darker colors, you know, you want to put a, a white uh, piece of cardstock or um, very vanilla. The purple posy is great to stamp on, okay, because it's a light color. So we're going to put, let me take the Just Believe. Hopefully I get this. The other thing I like about this is if it's not straight, I don't care because it's going to be all over. You know what I mean? I'm going to put Just Believe. Just Believe. You could use the Stamparatus for this. Maybe we want a fourth one in there. Maybe up here. Just Believe. Then I'm going to take this stamp. I'm going to ink it up, and I'm going to tap it off twice. I want it real light, but just enough to add a little texture behind the words. There we go. Okay. That's my Simply Stamping card. I know on Fridays I usually do Fun Fold Fridays. Sorry, I didn't have time to do a Fun Fold, but I think these are pretty nice. What do you think? There you go. Now, I know that took a little longer than you uh, normal because I was talking as I was doing it, but that's a quick, easy card that you can do with that stamp set without using the dies. Okay? And again, still shots later on. Okay, so let's do this one. All right, so I'm going to explain this one here. Bring all these pieces in. A lot of them I did already, so this one again is the same as this one or similar I should say okay so this is using the die so Megan had asked how you do it okay so what I'm gonna tell you is the first thing you're gonna do is you cut your cardstock you have the other piece that's layered on here this one's a little bit larger okay so this is your piece that you're gonna adhere on here with the die you're gonna take your die you're gonna place it wherever you want this one would go in the middle and that's going to cut that out. So pretend there's a hole there. Then you're going to take your embossing folder. Oh, thanks, Kathleen. Yeah, sometimes the easier ones are nicer. Okay. Because we forget about the simply stamped cards. You know, I mean, the, the fancy folds are great. I love them. But sometimes we just want to stamp. Okay. So in there you have your die. You're going to put this in the embossing folder and run it through your big shot. Okay, and this again is scripty. And with the magic of TV, I already have it done. Ta-da! Okay, so let me bring it up to show you a close-up if you can see it. There's my cutout die, and there's my scripty words. I love this embossing folder. Okay, so you know this is blueberry bushel. This is the new Seaside Spray. I just wanted to do something different. But here's what I was talking about. These were pieces left over from another class that I did. And I just cut them down a little bit to three by three. And that fits right behind there. And you can 
Well, you could use this side too if you wanted. I like this side. And you could actually move it around. If you wanted more dark, you could push it over that way. If you want more light, which I think I'm going to do, I'm going to push it over that way. And all I did was I took a little snail around this. I didn't put it on this piece because I wasn't sure where the holes were. Okay, and then once I layer it where I want it, let's see, I'm going to put it right here. Just press it down. That was it. Okay, again, I'm going to fold this cardstock in half. Again, thank you for tuning in with me. I know it's early for some, late for others. But thank you all for joining me. This is going to go layer right on here. And I'm going to do something a little bit different on this one because, let's see if I have it here. Did I bring it in? Yeah, I did. Okay. This is also from the new catalog, so you don't have this yet. But it's metallic ribbon in seaside spray. Okay, so I'm going to find the end. I actually opened it the wrong way, which I don't like when I do because then I can't keep my little cellophane on there. But unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't work. So let's just, whoop, let's just get that off there. You don't see me doing this, but I'm just trying to find the end. Oh, there it is. I found it. End is right there. Sometimes these little boogers are hard. Oh, did I just say boogers on live TV? Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, here's a piece. The name of the dies again. Okay, that is the Tastefully Textured um, Bundle, and the dies are called T -t -t Tasteful Background Dies. Okay, so it is a bundle, but you can just get the dies. Oh, yes, Kathleen, this this is going to be great. Kathleen just said this ribbon would be great for Christmas for snowflakes. It looks like when I get close up, it gets blurrier. Back here, maybe it's the glitter. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to do something a little different. This one, I tied it in a bow. This one, I'm just going to put a little snail on each end. This is what I was talking about. I do this most of the time. When I'm doing classes especially, okay, it does save a little bit on your ribbon okay so i'm just going to put that there again i'm going to bump this up with some dimensionals when i put um ribbon up behind like that you see how that just came i always put my, a dimensional there too it just reinforces it push that back down there okay so again i'm just going to put another dimensional there it just reinforces where you're putting your ribbon so it doesn't come off and also make sure you put use enough ribbon back here to keep it down if you skimp too much on it it won't hold back there so add a little extra okay worst thing you could do is spend all that time making a beautiful card for somebody and have it fall apart on you so add a little more ribbon back there and you'll be fine I'm gonna layer that right up on there Okay, before I tie my knot, or there, I'm going to take my Wink Estella, and I'm just now, I'm going to show you this. You see, it doesn't, it would be beautiful just like this, but to bring it out, and also what would be nice, because I now I'm using the metallic ribbon, is it ties it into that. I'm adding Wink Estella. Never get enough of Wink Estella. Okay, so again, uh, oh, the other thing I wanted to remind you, remind everybody, if you are a demonstrator, don't forget we have registration coming up. I think it's next month. I don't know the date, exact date for on stage. If you're a team member also, on stage will be coming up. <clears throat> if you'd like to join my team, now's the time because you can go to one of our awesome one-day events. It's in Hartford, Connecticut. Ours is, the one closest to me is they're all over. The United States so no matter where you are you can join my team I have people in Florida Pennsylvania California and there'll be an on-stage event near you that you can participate at okay so there I got the Wink of Stella I don't even know if you can see how good gorgeous that looks now I'm gonna take that ribbon <clears throat> and I'm just going to cut off another piece you notice I don't measure anything it's like when I cook 
I don't measure anything. People ask me how I make my sauce. I'm Italian. I just make it. I don't measure anything. And that falls over into anything else I make. <laughs> okay, and I'm just tying or cutting that. So there's the little ribbon. So you see it's a little bit different. So the next thing I want to do to make it a little bit different is this is the die from, and I just like to show you again, when you buy one bundle, you don't have to just stick to that bundle, mix and match. It's like clothes. These bundles here, and I probably still have it over at my big shot. It was just the oval that goes with the petal dies the petal label dies. Okay, so you can use these dies, mix and match. They work perfect. And I already stamped this with the saying, which is good things are sure to happen. And this time I'm going to use that down there. And again, I'm going to put some dimensionals on it. Just going to layer that right there. And did I cut myself an inside piece? If not, I always have extra so I can grab that. Okay, for the outside, again, I'm going to grab some, um, you know what, for this one I'm going to do, um, I'm not going to use those. I'm going to go ahead and grab, where are they? Our new gems. Okay, because we have those in that color. See, I have, I also keep these in there. We keep everything in our cases. <clears throat> and I'm just going to add some of these. There's three different sizes. I know I do this one a lot, but I like it. <clears throat> if you wanted to, you could also put a few more on there. Maybe two down here. How's that? <clears throat> we'll offset it a little bit. Okay, now let me grab a piece for the inside. This one's going to be, oh, it's the same size. Okay, so for the inside of this one, it says, let's celebrate you. Good things are sure to happen. Let's see. I'm going to put, take time to, do, 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 do. yeah, okay. Let's see. I'm looking at the different sayings. What one do I want to put? The, okay. I'm looking at good things are sure to happen. I don't know which saying I want. Okay, this is kind of nice. Good things are sure to happen. You're one of those people who make my life better just by being in it. So this is wishing somebody good things to happen because they deserve it. We all know somebody like that, right? We hope. Okay, so I'll use that one. in the middle oh and I used the blueberry bushel yes because I wanted to tie it in with that and then for this let's see we use that stamp because that kind of goes with it let's see did I clean this one off yep okay and again inking it up in blueberry bushel tapping it off a couple times because that's really dark you could also t put it in the seaside spray if you want but since I have these colors here, I'm using those. And there's the inside. Hi, Michelle. Thank you all for tuning in. Please share my videos. Let your friends know I'm on Friday morning, 7 a.m. and Sunday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I forget to tell everybody that. And there you go. So there's the same card, two different ways to do it. I froze. I don't know, did I freeze for anybody else? Okay, I'm still moving here, so I'm going to keep going. Okay, just if somebody can let me know if they're fr you, your screen is frozen also. Okay, so there's those two. It's still moving for me. Okay, the last one I'm going to show you, and hopefully you can see it, that I'm not totally frozen. Angie says I'm frozen over there. Okay, I'm going to bring this one in, and this card right here, okay, thanks Angie, she refreshed, she's fine. Again, 
everybody's operating system is different. You're in different time zones, you know, so, but I do, I do appreciate you letting me know. Okay. So this is the card that I'm going to show you, uh, but it, I'm changing it up a little bit. Okay. All right. So what I did for this one is I took the Rococo Rose, cutting that, I cut that in half, I'm folding it. And let me close this up. Okay. For this one, I used our other, um, again, I used uh, another designer series paper, the petal one. <laughs> and I did the same thing. I cut this piece out and I did it twice. Okay. And then I'm just going to layer that. Now you see I'm layering it just like this one. This one I did at an angle. This one I did this way. It's just to show you a couple different ways. This one I also used the embossing folder. This one I'm not. Oh, thanks, Angie. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down. Wherever there's, it's not cut out. I'm just going to glue this down to here. Okay. And if there's a little piece hanging off like that, just snip it. Okay. That's going to be layered right onto there. Now, again, I'm using the Rococo Rose ribbon. I'm just going to put a little bit of snail here, like I told you I do, so that I can hold that into place where I want it. Of course, it was the wrong place. It was upside down. See, we all make mistakes. Actually, it wasn't a mistake. Okay. I'm just going to put that right there, I think. I haven't figured out this card yet, so <laughs> I'm doing it as I go. And again, I'm going to layer that up with Bloom and Grow with a piece from there, which I've already colored with our blends. Okay, and I used our Rococo Rose blends, our Old Olive and the so saffron, the dark one, okay? So that you didn't have to see me color, I already colored that. Again, a lot of this is, you can use the tasteful textures and just pieces that you have left over from other cards. This I'm going to actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna put it right there, right about there. So you see how it's still on that. Let me just play around and see. And I'm taking this little guy which I already cut out again ahead of time. See where I want to put them. I think I want that right up there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some dimensionals on that. Like I said, this one I didn't know what I was going to do because I just wanted to show you the different um, textures, the way the different papers that you can use. So let's just pull those off. Again, thanks for tuning in this morning. I love my Friday mornings and my Sunday nights, but I love the fact that you stampers keep me going. Okay, I'm going to put that right there. So what I did, if you notice, I tried to coordinate the colors in the back. This is going to stick a little bit, but that's all right. Okay, so I'm going to refix this, and then I'm going to put it right onto the card so that we can play with this. Let me just put that back where it belongs. Actually, I think I'm going to move it down. Yes. Okay, so it falling off made me realize I wanted it down lower. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay. Now, when I lay it flat, this one is laid flat. I'm going to tell you that go right over the ribbon with your snail or whatever adhesive you're using, Tombow. Go right over the ribbon. Again, that reinforces the ribbon to stay down. So we're going to lay that flat right over the cardstock. Fix that a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take my saying here, or my oval, and put my saying on it. And I think, let's see, let's go with, I love this good things are sure to happen. I'm using that a lot. 
that's not going to fit. So let's see. I'm looking to see how I want to how I want to do this one. All right. I'm going to go with the good things are sure to happen. I just love this. So let me get my Rococo Rose here. I really wanted just a thank you card. That's what I was looking for. So maybe maybe I will switch it out. Maybe I'll just take from Bloom and Grow my little hello. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Like I said, I'm just playing here. Let me grab a little block. There we go. And my Rococo Rose. Oh my gosh, we were talking on the trip about when we're doing Facebook Lives, and I thought I was the only one that I'm looking around for everything. Oh my gosh, where did this go? Where did that go? And um, my stampers that are watching me are so nice to tell me. Uh, it's right in front of you. And I thought I was the only one that did that. And then I had a lot of the other stampers telling me, no, we do it too. So I don't feel so bad. Okay, so this one is just a little hello. And I'm going to put that right there. Okay. Now for this one, I'm going to grab my dimensionals. And again, another little trick here is I don't just put them on the ends. I put them all four because it'll go, it'll lay over that ribbon and keep that ribbon in place, if that makes sense. Okay. And you can see my nails are getting in the way. When I went to have my nails done before the trip, I always I have them tr cut them down because I like them a little bit shorter. This time I said, no, I need vacation nails. The vacation nails are getting in the way here. Okay, so I'm just going to lay that down right there. Okay. All right, so you see two different ideas here. And then what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take this little ribbon again, just snip off a piece, just a little piece. And it might have been too little. It was. Okay. So let's take a little bit bigger piece. There we go. And I'm just going to loop that through, if you can see me. And a lot of times you can just use scraps, you know, if you cut a ribbon too long. just I throw them in a plastic bag and keep them on my table. And then I'm just going to twist that a little bit. And then twist it so the Rococo Rose shows. And now I'm just going to trim it like that. And this I'm going to leave right there because I like that. So there you have another card. Similar, but different. And I'm going to, and I have a, something else to show you real quick before we're done too. I'm just going to go ahead and put some Wink Stella in there. Love my Wink Stella. It just makes everything pop. The other thing I like about it is I can just swirl it around. Don't have to worry about staying, you know, in the lines unless you only want one little thing colored. But on this one, I want some shimmer all over. Oh, look, I forgot a little, a little guy there. Let's go ahead and put some color on that. Okay. Add a little of that. Okay. Now, the other thing we're going to do is, so there we have some Wink Stella. You might not be able to see that too well. I'm going to go ahead and grab my frosted epoxies. I tend to have a lot of the other ones left over because I just happen to love the frosted ones. Those are, I think, my favorite. And I'm just going to add some of those right in the middle, some large and some small. That one will get a small one. This Maybe these, this one will get a large one. I think the other two will get small. Okay. 
then what I'm going to do is take my dark. You can do this beforehand, okay? You can do this color, this color them right on the paper that they're on or do it afterwards. And since I didn't know I was doing this, I'm doing it now. And I'm just going to go ahead. I use the dark one because it still comes out lighter to add a little color on there. Let it dry and you can put another layer on it. But I really don't want a lot. Let me use the other side. Go quicker. I don't want a lot of color. I just want a little bit of the color. So I don't think when it dries, I don't think I'll put any more on it. But you see, it just adds some color. You do have to let it dry because when you see it, it looks darker than the, than it does when it dries. It dries lighter. You can see that one. I don't know if you can see. They do dry lighter. See the one I just did looks darker, but they dry lighter. That's why I'm using the darker one. <clears throat> and that was the Rococo Rose. So there you have it. There's a second card. Very similar, but different. Now, I'm going to follow this up with the last thing I want to show you, which is pretty cool. It's from the new catalog. And I showed it to you on my big Greek haul of goodies. And it's called... Ice Stampin' Glitter. I thought when I opened it up, because I didn't have time to look through everything, I thought it was the embossing powder that we have. You know, the white embossing powder. It is not. <laughs> so it's another little surprise for me. It is Ice Stampin' Glitter. It adds glitz, any glitz or glitter to your project. They look like little snow crystals. You can adhere it with, remember the old crystal effects? Okay, well, guess what's coming back? Similar, but not quite. I don't have that, so I can't show it to you. But you can also use the detailed glue we have. And let me show you what it looks like. I played around with it last night. So I put some detailed glue in a ziggy zag, sprinkled the glitter on it. I should have done it on a card, a piece of cardstock. So I'll show it to you on Sunday on a piece of cardstock. Added the crystals, tapped them off, put them back in here. Okay, and let me show you. You see that? And it's textured. You can feel it. This is going to be so great for Christmas in the wintertime. Snow on houses, snow on trees. I mean, we do, we do have our shimmery embossing paint, which actually works great for that. But if you want a clearer, you know, translucent one, this is going to work perfect. Isn't that great? I love this. So again, this was a treat for me because I, and you know, I didn't have time to really look through everything until I got home. So that was a nice little surprise. And this uh, ice glitter and this um, metallic ribbon goes to a suite called Stamp Set Frosted Foliage. Let's see, the suite is called uh, frosted foliage <laughs> and it's a beautiful suite. I can't wait to get my hands on that So let me bring in the cards again just to show you one more time. Hi, Julie. Hi, Brenda Okay, and you can re-watch the replay if you missed the beginning. So here's two of the cards again We're using the I got everything in front of me. You can't find the stamp set <laughs> We're using the tasteful textures one four nine two three four with the matching dies, tasteful background, 149545, but you want to order the bundle number. And that I'll put on the, um, the video afterwards. So there's two right there. Two of the other ones that we did are right here. Yes, Vicki Vicky says one order code for the whole catalog. I think that would be perfect. I know it would be perfect for me. How about, how about everybody else? Wouldn't you just love that? Okay. Then the other card we have was this one with the where I teamed it with the bird ballad. Free as a bird. And then our simply stamping card is right here. So let me flip the camera. So I hope you enjoyed the cards today. I am so happy that you joined me. I will see you back here Sunday night at 7, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Not sure what I'm doing yet. Like I said, you know. 
<laughs> Thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you back here Sunday night, 7 p.m. Keep on stamping, stampers. See you then. Bye.